Hello. I am tour guide Holly because Avi, we miss you, is not here today. He has the day off. So does Kaim. And we miss best. him a lot miss too. miss and Avi, but um, today you get me. Which is good because um, I know everything about Jerusalem. So, But we are going to the um, Temple Mount, also known as the Dome of the Rock because the temple is not there anymore, obviously. Um, so we will let you know when we get there. I guess it's a long walk and we are very tired this morning. So. We don't have Chaim um, to drive us there. Yes, we don't have Chaim, but we miss you Chaim and we will talk to you later. Well, we are here. We have made it and um, we're going through a women's entrance and to the right of us there is a man that looks like he's praying, but folks, he is sleeping. <laughs> We see a common theme through all religions of people falling asleep while they're praying. <laughs> I know I have before, and I know you have too, so don't you try to run. Dear visitors, you are entering the Western Wall Plaza. Visitors with pacemakers should inform the security personnel because you will be beeped as metal in your body. I wonder about my foot. Um, visitors must walk through the metal detector at the entrance to the Western Wall, and this has been made suitable for use on the Sabbath. The Shabbat. Festivals by the Chosmet Institute because the chief rabbis say it's okay. They, um, of Israel has ruled that walking through the metal detector system does not violate Shabbat festivals. <laughs> glad about that. Um, glad the chief rabbis will make um, technology okay on Shabbat. On Shabbat. Oh, yeah. And Dad thinks it's maybe his bar mitzvah because that's what I was thinking too. Our PP numbers of fans to look to observe it. Where? Um, where is he unrolling it? Right there. Under the, Under the umbrella. umbrella. See the wooden scroll? Here, come here. You can't. Oh. Rolling it and re-rolling it? Yeah. Right here. See that, that wooden scroll? That's amazing. Try it over to bless it before it goes out. You can take it to the western wall, close to the Holy of the Holies, and then it goes out to the, uh, St. We think it's a bar mitzvah because there's... A boy carrying it. As opposed a to a, a bot Kinton mitzvah. So that's a bar mitzvah. I'm pretty sure. And uh, it's amazing how they love the word of God and they honor it. Here we are at the Dome of the Rock. The legend is that when Muhammad died, that he... Um, when he ascended into heaven, the dome went with him, and as he ascended, he didn't want the dome to come with him, so he pushed it down, and it landed on top of there, and, uh, and they have a piece of hair, and what else? An imprint. <laughs> An his imprint hand. of his, his horse's feet. But, the problem is, is that he died before this was built. So... I don't uh, know what to even say after that. I think that speaks for itself. So, we can't go in there because we're not Muslim, but... Rude. Um, I wonder if we could trick them. Do we look Muslim? <laughs> you decide. <laughs> 2009. <laughs> so yeah, here we are. It's pretty, pretty gaudy and awful. Uh, yeah, and the guy spent um, $8.2 million to sell his house so that he could... Um, Overlay that with gold. Wait, he spent eight point two million dollars to sell his house. He, yeah, he sold his house for eight point two to fund. What did the his gold. house look like? Probably ugly like this. Wow. But, Wait, uh, that's what is that like gold plated or what? Yep. It's really gold. Yep. I didn't know it was really gold. Yeah, that's the legend. It doesn't look good. Let's burn that. I don't that. know if we can um, Let's trust anything Let's melt it down and make though. some jewelry. Yeah, melt it down and make some jewelry. Um, but I don't think we can trust anything they say because Muhammad died before he pushed down the... He could put even touch the dome. He doesn't even... He's... 
I don't even know if he knows this And how do they even have his hair? In other words, his hair is a bad place. <laughs> yeah, um, how does hair preserve? Does hair preserve that long? Well, DNA does, yeah, but... I think we need to, um, just call this case solved and fake. Cool. What are we going to call ourselves? Sister. <laughs> this is a nice little game of hide and go seek we're observing. There's, I'm guessing the tree is base. Yeah. Look at him with the, he's putting his, um, what's that thing called? On his face. The yarmulke. His yarmulke. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at this girl, what is she oh. trying to do? Oh my goodness. These so are the cutest kids in all the time. Cute. Where's she going? There's one. <laughs> Where'd the girl go? Mama. She's still down there. Oh, he is so cute. Oh, he's wiped out. Oh, he has little tassels. are going to go get some ice cream. We had five different people tell us the best way to get there. Um, so we're taking a route. We don't know exactly where we're going, but we have a pretty good idea. Bobby um, is the one who told us to go this way. It's the back way. So we're also going to keep our eyes open. We didn't bring any bags with us. And uh, only like a couple dollars to buy the ice cream with. Yeah. And so I think we're going to try to blend in really well. <laughs> as much as I'm we sure possibly as soon can. As they hear our accents and our um, Look English at language. <laughs> yeah. And see our fair, skinny, cracker people. <laughs> um, I'm sure they'll notice that we're not from around here. Around these parts. These parts. So here we go. Hold on. Okay, so we got our ice cream. It was an awesome little store. It's like gelato almost. You're not videotaping me. Yeah, I am. You're videotaping my arm. Oh. Um, so it was an awesome little store. Shopping. I can't remember what it's called. It I don't really think it was good. in English. Jill got strawberry cheesecake. Mmm, delicious. I got coffee. Very Which good. Feel wonderful together. Very good. This is a good experience. This made the whole day better. Oh, for sure. It was a super downer, basically. Went to Dome of the Rock, which was just awful. Basically ruined the whole rest of the day and up until food and ice cream. And then we went through the little Arab part of the old city, which is awful. I have coffee beans in my ice cream. <laughs> and then we went through the um, Jewish quarter of the old city and normally that's kind of okay but it was awful too and it smelled and there was this guy yeah we couldn't even breathe hookah and oh yeah that like was right in the middle of everything and it was it was weird we hope you're doing hookah that's what it looked like and um we're not exactly experts in that field we were basically dead our we trying to dodge pot picker, were pot pickers, pocket pickers, at like pocket time low for this trip. Something. Pocket pick, I mean pickpocket. Yeah. Pocket picking. <laughs> anyway, it was really long and drawn out, but it was it wasn't good. But hopefully tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow's my birthday. Oh yeah. Forgot Happy birthday, that. Jill. Thank you. Dad said. Hey, tomorrow Mazel Tov, and I was like, what are you even talking about? And then I realized it was my birthday, which is really exciting. But you just kind of forget when you're in the Holy Land and everything. So we're going to, to Masada. Um, we're going to the Dead Sea, which I figured out is my favorite body of water on the planet. And we're going to Qumran. It's going to be fabulous. Yep. Um, we're going to be drafted into the military. Yeah, because you're 18. <laughs> 